Hey, everybody in here, sitting inside the tiny house, having my coffee. I'm all bundled up because it is 31 degrees. Oh, my gosh. I've already been out and done the chicken chores, let the puppies out, and they're trying to get up in my lap right now. I got a, I got a fire going on the wood-burning stove. I made my coffee with it this morning. I haven't used propane in, like, three days. That is wonderful. And, oh, here, look what I got going on it right now. See that there? See what's percolating? That is a beautiful pot of Bengal Spice Herbal Tea. It is my favorite, favorite flavor ever. And I've only got like two little packets of it left. So I'm going to savor this last pot. It is absolutely my favorite. Oops, out of focus. Oh, well, I'm moving around too much. Um, the puppies are playing right behind me and Papa's right practically in my lap. Yeah, I add a little honey to it, and oh, it is just the best tea ever. So yeah, it's been pretty cold, but you know what? I'm getting through it. In fact, it was, well, it was 31 outside. It was 41 degrees inside the tiny house, and now the little thermom uh, digital readout says it's, here, let me take a look. Yep, it's 59 degrees in here now. Once it gets over 62, I start getting a little too warm. Yep, there's my honey. And uh, so it's this wood burning stove is working great. It's just been on for a few minutes and already up to 59 from 41 degrees. It's feeling pretty good in here. Anyway, we had basically it was freezing ice uh, throughout the night and part of the day. It was coming down. It wasn't really super hard, but you know, it was cold. So I didn't get that other log finished. I'm going to do that today. I don't know that I'll show you just because, you know, <laughs> I've been showing so many wood cutting videos lately. I'll just show you the after effect. Um, and I need to bring some more wood inside because off to the right, I've used almost all that wood. Um, well, and I keep, I, I keep kind of like cycling it. I will take wood from one part, put it on another part because I know that this part over here has been inside the tiny house the longest. So, oh, I did want to tell you, that poplar, yeah, it is a poplar tree, um, that I cut down and some of the, the pieces that I brought inside, it burns just fine. It burns slowly, which is good. When poplar is super dry, it, um, it burns pretty fast and it pops a lot. Um, but since it was a little bit green, it was the perfect solution to put on the sides of the stove, like I told you before. And um, then I build this, the fire, you know, in between it and over the top of it. And those logs just burned all night long. All night long. In fact, there were still some, some warm coals in the bottom of the stove when I woke up in the morning after I used them. So I'm going to bring in a bunch of that poplar today. And um, that's what I'm going to do with it. And it's also a good piece of wood to put... Um, like get a big chunk of it and put it over the top and it will burn slowly all night long. So that's good. I'm I'm relieved that I'm going to be able to utilize that poplar this year because I'm going to have a whole bunch of it. Anyhow, I need to finish my coffee, um, get dressed. I don't want to get out of this warm thing. Oh my gosh, I love this thing so much. Um, and then get out and do some actual work. Oh my gosh, it's 72 degrees in here now. I think I need to open up a window. I am sufficiently coffeeed up and I am ready to go outside and cut up the rest of that log. So while you're waiting for me to get all that done, I'm going to show you some puppy footage. Papa is getting really, really good at being a daddy and showing the little ones the rope. So here, watch this. He loves them. What's up, Papa? <laughs> Come on, go play with the puppies. You're a good boy, Papa.
The tree is no more. I've got it all cut up and loaded into the wagon. This is actually the second load. There's another big load up by the tiny house. I've just been cutting it into big pieces. Just I, I just wanted to get it out of here, you know. It's damp back here. And um, so now I'm going to take this second load up to the tiny house, chop it up. And yeah, so this is what happened. Um, this is where my notch was. And then I, you know, cut it this way, thinking it was going to fall that way. But it didn't. What happened? And you can't, I can kind of see how this happened. Here's my notch. Tree started going down and, and then it twisted. <laughs> it twisted this way and I was super scared it was going to kick back and get me, but it didn't. It laid down nicely between those two trees, but it's out of my woods now and it's going to become firewood. That's the rest of the tree in addition to these pieces that I've already cut up that I'm going to start splitting up. So I'm going to split these, <laughs> rest my back for a little while. Cut a few of those up and then split those up and phew, hopefully I get it done today. Y'all, I am back in the tiny house and I am exhausted. Oh, that part of the tree is bigger and it's a lot of work. I only cut up, I would say, maybe a dozen more sections and split them up, put them in the tent. Um, but the rest of it is going to have to wait till tomorrow. So I'll show you what my wood supply is looking like in tomorrow's video. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with this cute little photo. Looks like these puppies are going to be snuggle bugs after all. This is first thing in the morning when it's freezing cold. I just grab them up and I put them underneath the covers for just a few minutes. And then they warm up and then we start our day. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.